When subtracting functions, we can rewrite f minus g of x as f of x minus g of x. With a number, we'll evaluate both, then subtract the results. With a variable, we'll subtract the two functions together. Don't forget to use parentheses. Let's look at example one. In example one, we want to find f minus g of negative two. Since we're evaluating given a number, we can write f of x, sorry, try that again, f minus g of negative two as f of negative two minus g of negative two. So let's find f of negative two and then g of negative two. f of negative two will be negative two minus four, which is negative six. And g of negative two will be negative two raised to the second power minus six times negative two plus eight. This will be four plus twelve plus eight or twenty-four. Now that we've found f of negative two and g of negative two, we can find f minus g of negative two, which is six, negative six minus twenty-four. So f minus g of negative two is equal to negative thirty. In example two, again we have f minus g of x. Notice that since it's a variable, we can add them together or subtract them together, however you want to think about it. So we have f of x minus g of x and we'll rewrite that. We know f of x is x squared minus five x, and we're subtracting the whole quantity, so we need to put this in parentheses. g of x is x minus five. From here, we distribute the negative through, and we have x squared minus five x minus x plus five. Adding like terms, we get x squared minus six x plus five. So f minus g of x is equal to x squared minus six x plus five.